Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Blood Tax Ash of War. In the recent patch, this Ash of War actually received quite a few buffs, the first one being they increased the motion speed and the attack power of the Ash of War, so now it's faster and does more damage when you actually land it. On top of that, they also increased the HP deprivation effect, so when you do land it, you're actually going to restore more HP now from each of the consecutive hits. And like a lot of other weapons updated this patch, they reduced the delay between the end of various actions such as doing an attack and being able to perform the skill. This actually makes setting up for roll catches quite a lot easier if you happen to land a light attack and your opponent panic rolls, you can get a roll catch off it that way. Same with like jumping attacks, I find they work pretty well into the setups. If your opponent tries to roll around, you can manually try to aim it for the roll catch. Like all of my other Ash of War showcases, I'm going to be using it on a variety of weapons. I thought it would be best to use weapons that have innate bleed buildup with a cult infusion, that way we get good damage output, and it also increases the blood loss buildup all from the one arcane stat. So I did grab all of the ones that I could think of. We have the Flamberge, I have the Nagakiba, the Naginata, the Vulgar Militia Saw, and then I'll probably try out a blood infusion on some of the heavy thrusting swords maybe, because I feel like the setup from the jump attack will work really well into the blood tax, although it won't scale the best, so its damage output is definitely lower than the occult infused variants. And then we have the stats for the build. I'm running a pure arcane build to get the best bleed buildup and the damage output from the occult infusions, and then I have the minimum endurance for the build, the minimum strength and dex requirements, mostly for the Naga Kiba, <laughs> and then we have our usual high health pool. As for the choice of Talisman, I'm going to be using the Shard of Alexander to boost the damage output of the Ash of War. We have the Lord of Blood's Exaltation, although I might swap that around depending on how often I get the bleed procs. If not, if I'm using a thrust a weapon, I'll use the Spear Talisman. But for the most part, I will probably use this. And then we have the Crimson Armor Medallion Plus 2 for the HP boost, and the Bull Goat Talisman to reach the 89 poise that I enjoy. That's all I really have to say about the changes to Blood Tax, though. Let's just see how well it performs in the duels and in the invasions. Alright, heading into our first battle, we have Faye. Hello there, Faye in what looks like a holy knight outfit, so I'm going to assume faith build. <laughs> At least, that's what I'm assuming. And, uh, yeah. Faith or fire? Faith. Faith it is, Fey. All right, I'm coming in to get chip damaged. I did not do a lot of damage, though. Try to get a roll catch with that. I want to hit a stun to land the blood tax, honestly. I feel like that could be the way that it works out for me. Could be from a jump attack. Oh! <laughs> nice! And we got the regions. We can put our original shield talisman back on. Oh, not a trade. Roll catch with this, maybe? Ah! Oh. <laughs> My Ash of War! <laughs> Give me the HP back. <laughs> I must have it. The beautiful HP. That actually is pretty good as like a long range punish. I'm liking it. Nice. Into roll catch. Into blood tax. <laughs> I figured it would work pretty good on the great swords. Definitely good from hit stun. Very fun fight, Faye. Moving on to the next battle, we have War Scavenger Kai. Hello there, Kai. Hey! With the Helfin Steeple. This time we're going to be using. The Naginata, because it is it is beautiful. Oh, okay. The debuff. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready, Kai. I'm ready, Kai. Uh, oh, we dodged that. I'm gonna go in for the the running heavy to see the poise. It doesn't look like Kai has much poise. Oop. And then try to get the roll catch with the blood tag. Oh, the final strike. Honestly, the duration of the attack really like confuses some people because no one ever sees this Ash of War. And you can roll catch with it if the timing is right, it seems. You have to start the animation, and then if they roll array and you have the, the spear range, you're going to get the roll catch. Interesting. Moving on to our next opponent, we have Henry. Hello, Henry. How are you, man? Uh, wielding the mad, the Wizard Away 9000 is in his hand. Um, okay. He has a shield and the bubble, though. I'm going to have to be a little bit careful of the bubble. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, that's not... That's not the bubble that I thought it was. I thought it was. Okay, let me see. I don't think I keep the hammer talisman on me when I really should. Just for situations like this. Okay, we popped the bubble that time. I wonder how the blood tax will do as an Ash of War against that. It's the safety of shield poke, so I need to be careful. Oh! <laughs> that guard broke really and healing. <laughs> He's shield poking and healing. Hilarious. <laughs> oh. oh, that is just... 
<laughs> Goodbye, Henry. <laughs> oh, beautiful. It is beautiful, honestly. Well, wow, the guard break. I wonder how much stamina damage this does. Or if he was just low on stamina. <laughs> Up next, our opponent is going to be Aru. Hello there. And we're going to be trying out blood tax on the Nagakiba. I feel like it's a, it's a good range. Anything with long range feels like it could be pretty good with this uh, setup. Just because the Ash of War itself is like a multiple thrust. Oh, Hyper Armor didn't give him enough to actually trade with me. That's kind of sad. Thought it would. Ooh, quick step. Ah, <laughs> uh, that probably would have been the most opportune moment to get a backstab. It's weird that it didn't work for him. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to play this carefully because quick step allows for a lot of openings. I'm gonna have to roll catch the quick step, which is fine. It actually has like he has good connection to me, it seems. So even when he does do the quick step, it seems like we'll be able to catch it. Maybe we can backstab his quick step if he goes for it. <laughs> oh, very fun fight, R. I didn't get a chance to actually use the blood tax. I never got like a clean stun. <laughs> Very fun fight though. I love quick step on the great swords. They're honestly really fun. Heading into our next battle, we have Eddie with the Bloodhound Fang. Hello, Eddie. Hey. How are you? Eddie. Okay, there we go. <laughs> he was bowing. I'm gonna be using the Nagakiba again just because I didn't really get to test out the blood tax. I got a little bit sidetracked trying to backstab the quick step in the last fight. <laughs> oh wait, you can you can buff more, Eddie. Sorry, I I didn't know. If we were still buffing or not. I'm ready. Well, you look like you're ready. Let's try a roll catch from that. <laughs> Indeed it does, but <laughs> the trade wasn't so favorable for me. <laughs> but we did get the the wake up finish with the blood tax. That's interesting. The final strike. It's a pretty long duration Ash of War. So when people think it's done, you get that final one right there. That it works works pretty well. Alright, heading into our final battle, we have Old Warrior as our opponent with dual curved greatswords. Okay. Interesting. Now, this is the first blood-infused weapon we're using. We've been using a cult. I couldn't think of any other ones that had innate bleed, but I feel like it's going to work really well on the heavy thrusting swords. If I get a jump attack stun, then maybe we can go for a roll catch with the, with the blood attacks. The aim on the jump attack sometimes. <laughs> okay, let's just boost the Ash of War now that we took in that one trade. It's actually hard to time a jump attack. Sir, I'm trying to set something up here. Uh, I think he just didn't roll. That was that was a weird stun compilation. <laughs> I think our connection's also a bit wonky. We're hitting from far away. <laughs> but, okay, maybe maybe I would say do I would do the true combo, but at the same time, I think that would finish his health bar, so hey, we can jump into backstab. Yeah, look at that. We did have a little bit of a, an interesting latency here. Let's go with the Ash of War finish. <laughs> Very fun fight, though, man. Oh, oh, I just looked at my HP and I was like, I got hit, I thought. But yeah, you get healed. <laughs> Alright, now let's just see how this performs in the invasions. Heading into the first invasion, and somehow we invaded the blood area as a bleed build. I mean, that's just amazing. <laughs> I'm coming, bird! Actually, the bird doesn't really need my help, but I do want to hit the wizard, so... You dare protect your wizard? Probably a smart idea. It's the only thing keeping you alive here. Oh, the bird did the work for me. <laughs> I'll take the free heal. Alright, now. Andreas. Yes, yes, yes. Finish them off so I can test out the combos here. I, I, want, I want to see if we can get the timing down for the roll catch with the Stitcher. I think my R2 can reach him. Get some stamina back. I can't kill you with the Ash of War if you just do this. Heal. I'm gonna get ahead of you so you run the other way. There you go. It's time to fight. <laughs> oh, it's actually really good because even if they go for a trade after their jump attack, if it misses, I get I get some good roll catch potential. That's some good range. <laughs> he wants his wizard back. <laughs> Keep you off the summon sign. Why the shield? <laughs> that was a pretty quick resummon. I gotta hand it to him. <laughs> now you gotta survive and not get bled. The pressure of bleed is strong. 
<laughs> the wizard is back. <laughs> we have to go for a round two with the wizard. At least the wizard doesn't have a lot of HP. Although this spell in general is just rough. Because I gotta run away from it. <laughs> I know what I must do. <laughs> I, love <laughs> I love how he's all in it for the fight once the summon's here. <laughs> That's funny. What is the name of the summon? Milness. Are we going to be doing the same thing again? <laughs> or will you face the music, sir? <laughs> oh, I wanted to try to get a backstab through that. Like, jump over it. I don't know if you can, though. It, it swings upward. I can backstab it this time, though. <laughs> well, I could, but I missed entirely. Oh, we can get a crit off that. Oh, I, oh, these still happen. No damage crit. That's disappointing. Just a little disappointing. <laughs> Again! You've got to be joking, Andreas. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> this is getting a tad ridiculous. No, <laughs> no secondary summon. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> you get one. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting to invade and I was not looking at my screen. I come back <laughs> and hello there. You're trying to keep me locked in here, huh? All right, I see you. I see you. Hang on, let me just uh, avoid the disc that's coming behind me. There we go. Let me just get prepared here, boys. You were ready for me and I was not ready for you. <laughs> uh, Okay, maybe they're back where I was. I thought it was a... Oh, they're chasing me! Oh! Hello! <laughs> How did I not see you guys? Where were you? <laughs> These guys have the sewer system mastered. That or they're just as lost as I am. I'm gonna bet just as lost as I am. <laughs> there we go. That was a good trade for me. Wow, I'm surprised they kept swinging. <laughs> you want to go for blood trades? I'm game. <laughs> nice. Very fun fight, though, boys. <laughs> that was a weird invasion, though, to be honest. I was not prepared. Moving into the next invasion, we're in Faramazula. Um, okay. Wait. Down below, and then okay, yeah. <laughs> I just had to get my bearings really quick. I had no idea where I was. Yes, they're usually in this room, and I see I think multiple currently. Okay. Oh, there was already a blue here. Hello. How are you? I see we have begun. Maybe, just maybe, the halberd would be more useful. More poise damage. Well, not more poise damage, but it has good range and poise damage. <laughs> oh, that knight can be devastating, man. As long as I dodge the blood proc, it's fine. <laughs> Tried to blood tax him. You will give me HP, Mr. Blood Hunter. Oh, what the heck did so much damage? I didn't get blood. That was just two hits of a curse sword. Interesting. <laughs> Roll catch like this. Uh. <laughs> oh, the wall actually saved him. That's pretty fun. Wait, did the host just die? Someone died. Wow, the host died. Poke, 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 poke. <laughs> oh, fun fight, boys. Jumping into the final invasion, we've invaded Ashen One. Lulu! Hello, Lulu. How are you? Uh, I want to show you my blood tax. Oh! 
Hello, Ashen One. Oh, I didn't know there was a third one. Because <laughs> it is coming out of the woodworks here. I thought it was two. All right, let me get by the giant here. You can keep chip damaging me with that rock, but I'm going to escape. Yes, yes, indeed. There we go. Hey, Maiden. Yes, come here. Uh, he's not even really fighting the giant. Interesting use of a two-handed straight sword, though. Very fun fight, Maiden. Woo! Ashen one has bleed as well. Sort of. Hang on. I just wanted to get some health off him. Excuse me. <laughs> and you as well. I'm a vampire. <laughs> oh, that giant. Oh, that wasn't just the giant that hit me. Okay. <laughs> that was big hammer boy. So I'm going to need you to relax. As I pull out my flam bam. Oh, this giant is angry. You ain't kidding around. Oh, I don't know what did more damage. My backstab or the giant hitting him, to be honest. I think the giant hitting him might do more. Ooh, it'll also hurt me, though. Nice, <laughs> there goes Lulu. We got some regen from that, I think. Alright, Ashen One. Oh! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that Mr. Ashen One, but I did get my flasks back, so I do like that. Let's try the Naga Kiba now. It is fancy. So. Whoa. Whoa. I'm out of stamina. <laughs> Blood tax! Wait, a uh, uh, blue just got summoned. That could be detrimental to my life. Oh, never mind. <laughs> hey, Mr. Blue. Hello. Oh, I think he still had the iframes because I couldn't backstab. <laughs> Harash. Well, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today, showcasing the Blood Tax Ash of War. I hope everyone enjoyed the showcase. I actually liked this a lot more than I thought I would. I never really used the Ash of War prior, so it was fun to definitely try out. Here is the build for you guys once again, the stats on the right, the talismans that I utilized throughout the showcase, and of course, keep commenting weapons, Ashes of War, and some unique builds below. I'm down to showcase all of them. I've been doing the Ash of War showcases, the weapon showcases, and of course, we're gonna try a hybrid for spell showcases as well. So always feel free to recommend what you'd like to see. Until the next video, though, this is goodbye. I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.